At recycling centres around the world, our waste is cleaned, chopped, shredded, melted, remoulded. But it turns out not defeated. Recycling plastic could itself emit billions of microplastics into the environment. At a state-of-the-art recycling plant in the UK, a team of scientists discovered up to 13% of processed plastic ends up as tiny, toxic microplastic, most smaller than 10 micrometres. That's the diameter of a human red blood cell. It's not a huge surprise that the plastic is breaking up. What is surprising is that we're seeing so much of it come out of these recycling facilities. But hold on to your recycling bins because the scientists found that by installing filters in the recycling plant's wastewater, the volume of microplastics produced more than halved. Unfortunately, we can't filter our way out of the problem. Filtration helps us to manage the problem, but it's not going to be the ticket to get us out of the plastic pollution problem. Even with filters, 75 billion plastic particles per cubic metre were found in the facility's wastewater. Recycling, meant to help fix the plastic pollution crisis, instead creating a slightly different, possibly slightly worse problem. Microplastics are more dangerous, in my opinion, than a plastic bottle floating along in the beach. Over time, they end up in our waterways, in our air, and also in our food and in our soils. So we're exposed every day. From the depths of the ocean to the Antarctic snow, microplastics already coat every corner of the world. Think of a fish. Well, that fish might identify a microplastic particle as food. And so that fish then eats that microplastic particle. By 2050, it's predicted there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean. So when we serve for dinner, we're eating the fish and the flesh that contains those chemicals from the plastic. There's also studies that show you can inhale plastic and so it accumulates in the lungs. It's ingested through drinking water. And scientists fear microplastics are not just devastating for the environment, but for our health too. Humans consuming a credit card worth of these tiny toxic particles every week. There was you know, really compelling evidence to show that microplastics are associated with reproductive health effects and also digestive health effects, including cancer. We see them in placenta and also in blood. So with a plastic problem of planetary proportions, can we ever recycle our way out of it? Recycling has a place and I'd certainly encourage people to recycle, but this is our canary in the coal mine. We need to act now. Banning plastics that are non-essential is a critical step we have to go with. So we're only recycling 18% oh. of plastic packaging that we use in Australia? Well, I'm doing much more than that, but you're throwing it in the wrong bin, Hamish. Yeah, because well, I'm you... throwing it in your bathwater. Right, OK, yeah. <laughs> well, because uh, when you look at this, the, the, the foods that you've got to avoid are, um, I think, tea bags, apparently, microplastics, full of them, um, yeah. fish, beer, um, and any a food you've microwaved in a plastic container. That's, a, that's another trouble for you. So what are we supposed to do in this instance? Because I think I'm doing a good thing by yeah. trying to recycle my plastics, and it turns out not really. And you can breathe it in, we heard the gentleman... The answer the is gentleman... don't not recycle. No. Don't. OK, and don't, don't. breathe. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep recycling with holding your breath. Yeah.